you can have natural vitamins that are coming from real foods, or you can have synthetic vitamins that come from the lab. We're often told that these two are identical. There's no difference. But let's look closer to see if there's actually no difference between natural versus synthetic vitamins. Let's use a vitamin C example. You will commonly hear that vitamin C molecule from plant foods and vitamin C or ascorbic acid molecule made in the lab is the same thing, meaning it should have the same effects. But is the molecular shape actually the same? And if so, is that the only thing that matters? The effectiveness and bioavailability of nutrients from a whole food or a natural food supplement will be very different when compared to an isolated synthetic vitamin that is wrapped with other synthetic compounds such as fillers. The problem with synthetic vitamins is that our bodies do not recognize isolated molecules the same way as they would recognize a natural molecule that comes from food. You will never find vitamin C tablets growing on trees, and we did not evolve getting our nutrients this way, in isolated form. Most sources call ascorbic acid vitamin C, as it was the same thing. You'll even see doctors and scientists doing this mistake. While in the nature, vitamins come in vitamin complexes and not as isolated compounds. Ascorbic acid is not actually a real vitamin C. It's only one part of vitamin C. Ascorbic acid is an isolate. It's just a small fraction of naturally occurring vitamin C that you would find in foods. In addition to ascorbic acid, vitamin C must include factors K, J, and P, rutin, bioflavonoids, tyrosinase, and other compounds. And if any of these components are missing, it is not vitamin C. It's an ineffective copy. When only some fractions of real vitamin C are present, for example, at times when you take things like ascorbic acid that you can get from synthetic vitamins, the body will deplete its own stores of the rest of the vitamin C complex parts, things like factors J or K, to make up the differences, so that the whole vitamin C complex would be assembled. By taking just one part, you deplete the rest and this ends up causing you the actual vitamin C depletion and related vitamin C deficiency symptoms, making you less healthy overall. Each of the vitamin C complex components has a separate function. For example, the P factor is responsible for strengthening blood vessels. The J factor is responsible for oxygen carrying capacity of red blood cells. The ascorbic acid itself is just the antioxidant outer shell of vitamin C. It is there to protect the rest of the complex so that it could perform its functions. Taking ascorbic acid on its own, in a way, is similar to having a parasite that drains your own nutrients. And we don't want this. Most of ascorbic acid is manufactured from volatile acids and GMO corn. None of these components contain actual vitamin C. And what about natural vitamin C? Does it even exist in a supplement form? What's the difference between natural vitamin C versus synthetic vitamin C or ascorbic acid? Yes, you can get a full vitamin C complex from supplements. It is much more expensive to manufacture because you use natural whole food ingredients to create it and you get the full benefits of vitamin C. The best natural vitamin C supplement sources include acerola cherry and amla fruit extract. These are manufactured using high amounts of whole fruits. When you take a Sarola cherry supplement, you get the whole vitamin C complex, including factors J, F, and P. Our bodies can recognize vitamin C in this form, and we're able to get the health benefits of vitamin C. Things like increased skin elasticity, better immune function, and stronger, healthier blood vessels. I will leave Amazon links where you can order a high quality vitamin C complex in the description of this video. You can also get your vitamin C from foods such as peppers, tomatoes, berries, and lemons. However, cooking foods would kill most of vitamin C, meaning you should eat these foods raw. That's why I always advise my clients to get at least one salad or one smoothie a day. Another vitamin example is vitamin D. You can choose either vitamin D2 or vitamin D3. You can get it in either tablets or liquid form. Liquid vitamin D is much better absorbed than tablet form. 
Also, vitamins K and D work synergistically in our bodies, meaning that they enhance each other's effects. Vitamin D3 is much more effective when compared to vitamin D2. Then another example, B vitamins. You can either take synthetic B vitamins made from hydrochloric acid, which is known to cause severe injury to the mouth, throat, esophagus and stomach when ingested, or acetone, ammonia and coal tar, which contains several carcinogenic compounds. So that's what they use to manufacture B vitamins. And then most flower products are fortified with these amazing vitamins. So when you see vitamins added to foods to make it look very healthy, these are actually synthetic vitamins with poor bioavailability made from harmful chemicals. If you're looking for a high quality B vitamin complex, you can take nutritional yeast, not any, but from a supplement brand that uses correct manufacturing methods. So again, Thinking that we can fool our bodies with giving it some fake vitamins is simply unrealistic. Also, another reason why natural vitamins are better when compared with synthetic vitamins is because they have no chemical residues, unlike synthetic vitamins that are made in a lab using various chemicals. There are now even studies showing that synthetic vitamins cause cancer. So you have to be very careful and read your labels. Most supplements you would find online or in regular shops are simply bad for you. If you do want to take supplements on a regular basis, be ready to read labels and do research, as not all supplements are created equal. Synthetic vitamins are much cheaper and they are much less effective, totally ineffective and even harmful in some cases. When I see people taking low price synthetic multivitamin thinking that it helps to improve their health, then I look at the label and see a long list of synthetic vitamins and other potentially harmful substances that shouldn't be there. I'm really surprised. How can people buy this? Many people even got convinced that they can eat junk food, take synthetic vitamins, and they're gonna be healthy. Firstly, there's no supplement that can replace natural whole food diet. And secondly, most supplements are either ineffective or harmful. And you should only take supplements if you truly know what you're doing. Even if your doctor or your dietitian has advised you to take certain supplements, there's a high chance that these supplements will be the same ineffective and harmful. So be careful with who do you listen to. Many people have ruined their health with synthetic vitamins. Choosing poor quality food supplements comes from a lot of money being spent on marketing and lack of people's knowledge about the difference between natural versus synthetic vitamins. If people would know the difference, they would not be buying these harmful food supplements and spend that extra money on higher quality foods. Whenever I buy food supplements, I look for clean label, natural supplement coming from food sources, proper manufacturing practices that don't damage it. The preparation method also matters. Some supplement brands will use methods that kill all the beneficial plant compounds, while some other brands will use methods such as freeze drying that preserves most of beneficial plant compounds. Then some brands will use cheap and digestible, the least bioavailable parts of plants to make their supplements, while other brands will use the most bioavailable parts. Otherwise, what's the point in taking the supplement? If you ever think, is it better to buy a cheap synthetic vitamin supplement or not to use any supplement at all? You would have much better health outcomes by not taking anything at all. It's way cheaper and way easier. This was my scientific comparison of natural versus synthetic vitamins. I hope this video will inspire you to choose higher quality supplements. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.